Welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and today I have a fountain pen that I want to share with you. This took a long time getting here because of COVID and the delays of mail from India. I ordered this pen in April of 2020 and got it at the end of 2020. And I've been just waiting to share this pen with you. This is a vintage new old stock pen from the Bina Company, which I understand no longer manufactures pens. So this is this is an older pen, and it's called the Lincoln in honor of Abraham Lincoln. And uh, it's a piston filler. It's just a, got a, a nice classic design. And uh, I thought I would share this pen with you. It's just something a little bit different. They're still available from what I understand. And I will put a link in the description below, but kind of an interesting pen. So let's spin that camera around and check it out. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like and why. And then I'll give you my recommendation on this new old stock vintage being a pen. Okay, as I mentioned, this pen took me a long time to get. I ordered it in April of 2020, but because of COVID, the Indian mail system was completely shut down. I want to say this uh, for the seller from uh, ASA ASA Pens who deals uh, with the uh, Bina Pens out of India. Very good communication over the course from April to, was it November or early December that I finally got the pen? Over the course of that time, he kept uh, me up to date on what was going on and why the pens weren't coming in the mail yet and uh, just very, very good communication. And uh, I've bought the Bina Magic and this pen from him and had nothing but good experience. I'm not upset about the weight at all. That's really way out of any of our control. And communication, again, was excellent. Okay, so this pen, meant to honor Abraham Lincoln, uh, comes in this very patriotic looking uh, box. So there's that. Now this again is new old stock. I believe this pen was probably made, from what I understand, in the 1980s and has been in a warehouse in India all this time. So this is kind of a cool thing. It's a little bit of a, a time capsule and uh, comes in this plastic case, which looks like if you were around in the 70s and 80s, does this not just look like a whole lot of pen cases from the 70s and 80s? This was very typical style for the time, says Lincoln on the lid and again uh, on this material in the case. So Lincoln from Bina. You open it up and you have, uh, actually let me see, nope that doesn't come up. So there's nothing under there that I'm missing. All of your literature is right here on the back of the box telling you how to fill a piston pin. So if you've got another pin, it's it's the way they usually work. Very similar to say a, a Pelican or something like that. It works the same way. And this is the pin. So we have a gold toned uh, clip, good strong clip with that ring below the finial cap, which has a nice red ring. And this is all polished smoothly. And then you find another red ring here just below the uh, the piston knob. Now I'm not going to turn this today during this review because I already have ink in the pen. Uh, and I, I would have shown you that process, but my ink bottle was running low and it took too much uh, contortion to be able to fill the pen and film it. So, uh, but this is a piston filling pen and it, it works well just like any wood. When you take off, oh, the, I, Forget, it looks like this would be a friction fit cap. That is not so. The steel cap, stainless steel cap, unscrews very quickly. Let me, some of you like to count those. Let me do that for you. So we have one and a half. Um, so that some of you will be very happy about that. And then you have a gold toned medium nib. There's the feed show that to you a little bit closer. The nib is just a very simple gold tone steel nib. This is a medium, as you can see. And then you have the feed, which I believe is plastic. You do have, as you come down, you have a smooth section, uh, comfortable diameter. I'll put those specs up, of course. And then you have an ink window. I didn't get it just absolutely completely full. So when I have it turned this way, it's going to look 
like it doesn't have a lot of ink in it but I, it, it's all right uh, I didn't try real hard because I was having trouble with my bottle it's just nearly gone then you come down smoothly to the red ring which let me tell you uh, in a lot of piston pins one of those signs that they've really done a good job on the polishing and the finish is present on this pin if it were not for that red ring I don't know that you would even see exactly where that line is. If I get the light just right, you can kind of see that hairline there. So very well done. Fitting this piston knob to the pin, excellent. And it functions well. Uh, there is a, a white plastic piston, uh, or uh, silicone maybe, or rubber, I'm not sure what it's made of, uh, that you will be able to see come down in the window as you turn that knob and then, you know, you create a vacuum as you pull it back and the ink comes in. But really nicely done. It's a simple design, nothing too complicated. Just black smooth the top of that piston knob. But well done. So, uh, you, you know, not a lot of uh, extra detailing or anything like that. No scroll work on the nib. But everything that is done is done quite well. And, of course, you have Lincoln there on the cap. No model number or anything like that, just Lincoln. Very simple, Bina on the clip. My experience with my Bina Magic pins is quite good. Uh, no issues there. Great pen, kind of a fun little party trick in the pop up and down of the nib. And uh, so my expectations of this pen from Bina are quite good. And I had read some older reviews when these were a little bit more common that were quite complimentary. So my expectations were high. But let's, uh, let's put pen to paper. Let's see if those expectations are warranted, if they're lived up to. Again, it is a new old stock pen. But they are still available. Did I really? There, snuck the C back in there. I, I spelled the whole name Lincoln. You thought I wasn't going to. It's just an unusual strategy for writing the name. That's all. That's all. This is a medium nib, and it's kind of a, a medium to fine, actually. I'm going to put that. Because if you're expecting a European medium, it's going to be thinner than that. Uh, it's a steel nib. It's gold tone, but it is a steel nib. And I have in this pen, what do I have? This is Pelican Blue. Okay, I think that's Royal Blue. Good, reliable ink. Uh, and I use it quite a bit for just daily stuff around the office and things like that. Good ink. Pen has a really good balance to it. It's not a heavy pen. It's not a top-heavy pen. Uh, but not overly light. Very comfortable. Those threads, very light. They don't bother you in the least. So that's good. That nib, you can see it's slightly long the way Pelican kind of does their nibs a little bit long. So that gives me, for me personally, that's a plus. Let's see here. I'm going to be quiet. Whoops. A little bit of a skip there. I think that was me. Since we got the rest without it, I think probably so. And then we'll do a little bit here. Well, maybe it is the pin. So a couple of little skips, but I haven't had any trouble with it overall that way. Let's see. I might have had it out while I was setting up a open a little too long. That happens. Ah, what do we have? Let's do positives and negatives. Positives. Uh, this is a nice pen, I think, for the price. It's affordable. It has a retro appeal because this is a new old stock pen that has uh, just been sitting around since the 80s waiting to come to your house. Uh, and that that's cool. There is the Lincoln tie-in, which, you know, I know that's a bit of old school marketing but I like Lincoln I'm not I don't like marketing but I'm not saying that I'm exempt from it you know so there is that and uh, what else positive 
Overall, I think it is a good smooth rider. Does have a little bit of feedback, but not in the negative sense. Like a lot of pens, I have a lot of pens that have a nice feedback, a pencil-y feedback. This is a, a mild pencil feedback, more uh, auditory than uh, you would actually feel, you hear it. What else? Let's see. Negatives. Do I have negatives? Okay, I'm going to say it since you saw it. You're my witness. There's just a little bit of a skip. And again, that could be. I had the cap off while I was setting up the camera. I usually don't do that. It could be my fault. Uh, and it could be my, my writing angle every now and then. Although, it doesn't. this is not a sweet spot pen. It's just kind of a typical pen, so I wouldn't think that's it. So a skip here or there I had. Just in case it's the pen, your mileage may vary. Uh, that reminds me of a positive, by the way. Uh, fit and finish is actually quite good. This is not a fancy pen. It doesn't have uh, exotic materials, but it is well done. You know, I mentioned that you can, right here, that they've done that well, and not everybody does, so credit where credit's due. Uh, negatives besides the skip. Let's see. Hmm. I'm having a hard time. I don't really, I haven't really had any troubles with it. Uh, I like that it's a piston filler. The, the ink window is, I can see through that. It's hard to tell uh, in the camera, but it's actually one that you can, you actually can see the ink level. Unlike, say, a, a Lamy 2000 where it's, where it's kind of just a joke. Uh, this one, I can actually, I can tell you what I've got in there. That's a positive. Um, negatives. No, I don't think that's about it. It took me a long time to get it, but that wasn't their fault. Um, there's no documentation or anything like that that came with it. For some people, that might be considered a negative, but I don't really have anything that just jumps out, like I say, other than uh, just a little bit of skipping that you saw, which this is my first experience to have the skipping, is while it's on camera. But if it's going to happen, that's probably where it's going to happen, right? So there you go. Size comparisons. Here is the uh, Hongdian Black Forest, and that will help you some. Uh, what else have I got? I've been bringing out the big multi-pin because I do think that's helpful. A lot of you have these. Not everybody even has a fountain pen yet, so you might need that to give your eye a little bit. And there is the ubiquitous Lamy Safari. So similar in length, narrower than all of those except for this. It tapers so it looks narrower than the Hongdian, but it's actually quite similar in diameter. That gives you some idea. So. Uh, do I like this pen? You know, I do. Now, let me tell you what I like about it. I like about it, I like the Lincoln tie-in. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kitschy, but I like it. Uh, I'm not immune. And uh, I like when I get a good pen from another country that's not necessarily at the top of the list for a lot of people on countries. So this one comes from India. And in the Bina pens, I've only had good overall experience. And so I do like that. The seller was excellent who handles these. Just really, really good. And that matters. And uh, the price was reasonable. The shipping was free. So I think I paid, if I remember right, I mean, it was April of last year, but I think I paid $12 for the pen. That includes shipping from India. Uh, so that's, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I, I, pretty good pen. I like it. it. It's very comfortable pen, very well balanced, and it's just kind of something more unusual, even if the design is more, you know, just typically classical. It's kind of a vintage 70s, 80s pen right here in 2021. I like that. All right, so that is the Bina Lincoln. God bless you. Have a great week. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and come back next time. We'll see you then.